got three more WTFs, and this time it includes Eddie from Stranger Things, like all of the other WTF videos. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you danced by. You gave the right time. We had an all time line. Pumples out, joys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. Yeah, we talk about Eddie from Stranger Things like too much. That's because everyone else is talking about him too oh. much. Are we just gonna be done with this anytime soon? Can we just give everybody a f***ing Eddie from Stranger Things and be done with this? I only have one, so no. No, no, not like us. Can Funko just like give them away to people and we can just shut everybody up and we can move on? I think they really like to see people squirm. I like to see people squirt. Ew. So this time, Eddie from Stranger Things dropped over a pop culture. He's been there for a bit, but... Now they ship to the US and Canada. I guess because not enough people in Australia are fans of Stranger Things. So we've made many videos where we talked about this Funko Pop restocking. So far, we haven't seen a mass restock at Target, but I feel like it's coming. It's either coming there or coming at five and below. Yeah, at this point, my guess is five and below. Well, five below. But... No, it's five and below. You did it right. So at this point, I'm asking Funko to stop the madness. I'm telling you they want to see people freak out. They just want to see people squirt. Ew. Before we go any further, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. Hit the like button because it helps all of our videos. We love when you like us. Also, head over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. Okay, so you all will just stop talking about Eddie, go over to Pop Culture, pay your $25 in shipping plus whatever it's it... sold out. Oh. Well, it's then cool. never mind. You missed him again. Way to go. You're too slow. Yeah, sold out pretty fast, actually. This version of Eddie came with the special edition sticker. Not the new one, apparently. The old trashy one. That's okay. I mean, you can go and buy a shitty Target exclusive and put your own sticker on it if it's that important to you. Personally, don't give a You're going to tell them to do bad guy stuff? It's not bad guy stuff. If it's for their collection, who cares? I smell it. What? Smells like whatnot. You're disgusting. So with this restock over at Pop Culture, I would not be surprised if we see more of these guys turning up at Pop Culture and other stores around the world. I feel like we're gonna see so many f***ing Eddies this year that literally everybody will have one and then they'll be sitting on the shelf at five and below. Honestly, that's what I'm thinking too. They overproduce literally everything. All right, so with our first what the f*** out of the way, let's talk about number two. We already talked about squirting. I don't wanna talk about no, I'm talking about the Shuri and t-shirt at Target. So the Legacy Collection Shuri is being sold at Target right now for $2.99. Wow. And it says Shuri really big on it. Of course it does. I hate when they do that, so annoying. So if you want one, head over to your local Target. You might find one for $2.99. A friend reached out to me locally. He found a bunch at his local Target somewhere else in Maryland. Typically this never shows up where we live. I thought about going and buying some. Why? because I know how much you like that Shuri shirt. Ew. Two ninety nine. you can't get a t-shirt for two ninety nine. You're getting a pop and a shirt. And it's a glow in the dark pop, it's actually pretty cool. Better get it while it's hot at Target right now before it starts hitting those discount stores. Two ninety nine. holy sh**. I mean, what things can you buy for two ninety nine? Hold on. What can you buy for two dollars and ninety nine cents? Touch screen gloves, reading glasses, neck gaiters, silicone rings, bra extenders, canvas tote bags, AirPod cases, door openers, resistance bands, jump ropes, night safety bands, safety vests, carry cloth headband, personal water filter, stainless straws, felt coasters, false eyelashes. Is that enough for you? Chris, it's been enough since like the third or fourth item. So go buy your Shuri today. Remember, if you don't spend it on Shuri, you can buy some resistance bands. And the third WTF, Mandalorian on speeder. Where the f did this guy come from? That is one badass Mungo Pop. Okay, but we're seeing an actual picture of it and we only got glams of a ton of Funko exclusives like within the last year that haven't been released yet. So yeah, where the f did this come from? Exactly, this guy came out of nowhere. This isn't a what the f this is a where the f What's better than one f Heather, but two. What? 
You said, well, what the f and where the f I like, I like both of those f It's fun. I like two f You always fall asleep after one. Because I give no f What? So Mandalorian on speeder. This is f awesome. Speaking of Mandalorian and Grogu on speeder, how about Mandalorian and Grogu on a bantha? Those lips are definitely some DSLs. This is one of my favorite Mandalorian pieces ever. Have you ever felt how heavy this thing is? Isn't that badass? Oh my god, I love this. It's so not badass, it's fat ass. No, it's bantha ass. It's a bantha? Okay. Can you imagine how great this is going to look next to that speeder? Chris, you don't have room. Oh, I'm going to make so much room. So at this point, we have no idea when this is going to be dropping, but I can't wait. I need myself a Mando, Grogu, and a speeder. What if it comes out next year? Like 2024? Well, that's expectations are met. I would imagine it's coming very soon since we have seen like an actual photo of the item. You know what? They'll probably bring this out around February because that's when the new season of Mandalorian comes out. As if Funko actually does anything right. Or May the 4th. Nah, they're not going to wait that long. Because that's what Mandalorian says. Mandalorian doesn't say May the 4th. He says, May the 4th be with you. He never said that. Mm -hmm. Six times I counted it. That's our three WTFs. What do you think is the best WTF? We would like to know all of that and more in the comment section down below. But that's not all we have. We received a box from one of our friends. It's a box from our friend Steven Sklansky. And he actually wrapped all the boxes, so I can't wait to see what's inside. I have no idea what it is, do you? I have no clue. What if he wrapped up cookies or something? It's been like a couple weeks since Christmas. Uh-oh. All right, so Steven wrapped all these items up. Oh, look at this. Okay, there's three items in here. To Chris, to Heather, from Steven. Wow. And this says, to Heather and Chris, from Steven. Wow, this sounds like something you eat. Let's open this. Here, you pull one side, I'll pull another. We've literally never opened a dual gift like this before. Oh look, a Sour Patch Kid. Oh no, Black Raspberry Sour Patch Kids. Coal. What? They're Coal Sour Patch Kids. Have you ever heard of this before? No, is he saying we're naughty? I think so. That's sort of hot. Mm. I wonder if you eat too many of these, if it'll turn your poop colors. Okay, is that like the first thought you go to when you're eating candy? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Do you want to know about something really crazy that I did? Do you remember? Hmm. That one got me. Do you remember Sour Skittles? They were in a green bag, but they had this powder on them. You know what I did? You snored it. How the f*** did you know? I didn't mean to. I have this weird thing. I like to smell things. And I went like this to them. And it went on my nose. And it hurt so bad. <laughs> That's so f weird. You're about as weird as you were as a kid as you are as an adult. We're gonna open our gifts. Can I just say that I love the wrapping paper? They're sharks with like donuts and <gasps> gifts. Oh my god, Zombie Captain America, what if Funko Mini? Oh, this oh is my awesome. god, handmade by Robots Glow! Wow, that's cool. I want this. I've been wanting so this too. Bad. You know what? They didn't have this at our local five and below. Oh my god! He's going right on my desk where I edit because he is Awesome! Oh yeah, he's an awesome figure. Look at this. Now you have one other one. He has like blood on his face or something? Yes. Oh my god, yeah, there he is. Look at that. So now you got two ghost face handmade by robots figures. These are cool. Can you turn the lights off? I want to glow him. If this is anything like Creeper, it's going to be wild. I can already tell you it's wild. Oh Ready? my god, look at that. Yep. Holy cow. I don't know what they use to glow these things in the dark, but they do a tremendous job. I think something that's radioactive. Let's see who glows better and faster. Creeper versus ghost face. Here we go. Oh man, look at them. Don't they look awesome? They do. God, they are so bright though. It's really crazy how bright these are. It's almost like, I don't know, like it could hurt you if you touched it. I don't know, it's in it <laughs> weird. It is. Like toxic, Creeper wins. They're both still glowing. He's Look Look how bright he's growing, glowing. Look how bright he's growing. <laughs> look how bright he's glowing. He looks like a light bulb. This motherfucker right here is wild. Wow, thank you so much, Steven. These are freaking awesome. Yeah, man, you did a great job. We love them and we're gonna cherish them. Guys, what do you think about the items that Steven sent us? We love them. We'd love to know what you think and you need to go and check out his podcast. It's the Simpsons Did It Podcast. We're gonna post a link to his podcast down in the description. Go and check it out. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons for Patreon. 
In this video, we would like to shout out to Trish and Raj, Joshua G, Michael F Petrino, Joseph Mayfield, Brian, Tony Hagman, Greg F, Porcine Pikachu, Ryan Thomas, and Attila Hardy. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. We appreciate you. Remember as always, we are together, yes? We'll catch you next time. Bye.